St. John of God. Nothing in John's early life foreshadowed his future sanctity. He ran away as a boy from his home in Portugal, tended sheep and cattle in Spain, and served as a soldier against the French, and afterwards against the Turks. When about forty years of age, feeling remorse for his wild life, he resolved to devote himself to the ransom of the Christian slaves in Africa, and went thither with the family of an exile noble, which he maintained by his labor. On his return to Spain he sought to do good by selling holy pictures and books at low prices. At length the hour of grace struck. At Granada a sermon by the celebrated John of Avila shook his soul to its depths, and his expressions of self-abhorrence were so extraordinary that he was takers to the asylum as one mad. There he employed himself in ministering to the sick. On leaving he began to collect homeless poor, and to support them by his work and by begging. One night St. John found in the streets a poor man who seemed near death, and, as was his wont, he carried him to the hospital, laid him on a bed, and went to fetch water to wash his feet. When he had washed them, he knelt to kiss them, and started with all. The feet were pierced, and the print of the nails bright with an unearthly radiance. He raised his eyes to look, and heard the words, John, to me thou dost all that thou dost to the poor in my name. I reach forth my hand for the arms thou givest. Me dost thou clothe, mine are the feet thou dost wash, and then the gracious vision disappeared, leaving St. John told at once with confusion and consolation. The bishop became the saint's patron, and gave him the name of John of God. When his hospital was on fire, John was seen rushing about and injured amidst the flames until he had rescued all his poor. After ten years spent in the service of the suffering, the saint's life was finally closed. He plunged into the river Xenile to save a drowning boy, and died A.D. 1550 of an illness brought on by the attempt, at the age of 55. Reflection. God often rewards man for works that are pleasing in his sight by giving them grace and opportunity to do other works higher still. Saint John of God used to attribute his conversion, and the graces which enabled him to do such great works, to his self-denying charity in Africa.